Hey everyone, welcome back to Titan Tips. Sorry there hasn't been any for the last few days here, but of course I was away for a few days for my anniversary with my wife, which was lovely. And then uh, I've been sick, uh, unfortunately, for about a week now. But anyway, uh, feeling on the up and uh, feeling quite a bit better today, more than I have the last five or six days. So anyway, uh, let's get back to it. So I want to talk a little bit over the next couple of days about events specifically. It's something I haven't mentioned much about in uh, the series. But anyway, uh, let's keep this one pretty short. And then tomorrow's we're going to talk more about King's Capri specifically. But uh, right now in game, although it's been rumored that it's going to change very soon, there is a four week rotation for events. So there's uh, in order, always Lost City of Gold, which is two days, then King's Caprice, which starts uh, tomorrow night right now, but probably uh, tonight for you when you're seeing this. And then uh, after that, the following weekend will be another two-day event, which is Tower of Titans. And I'll talk about that in a video uh, probably right before Tower starts or something like that, so you kind of know what's up. Uh, and then there's an off week, which is always a 48 hour event. Normally this one is voted on, uh, by like a Reddit poll or something where we can vote on which event that we want for those two days. But that fourth weekend is probably going to be changing to, uh, be a normal like monthly event like they are right now. So let's talk about Lost City of Gold for a second. I know it just finished, uh, but it's kind of the one that's a precursor to the other two generally throughout the month. So I just want to get it out of the way. Normally I would have had this video come out during the event. Uh, but sorry, things uh, were not permitting. So anyway, Lost City of Gold. There's actually not as much to consider with Lost City as there was before. So as you know, there is golden artifacts that you get from Lost City of Gold as a component. Uh, here we go, Golden Artifact. I have 613 of them. So previously, these would get extremely cheap during events like 30k, 20k, 40k, something like that. And then later on in the month, they would go up to like 200k, like max out gold, and you couldn't get them uh, for... Uh, gold. But that's kind of changed recently where opulent items have kind of become uh, a lot better. And um, there's not as much demand for golden artifacts because a lot of people have these types of items uh, that need these mastered and kind of completed. And so there's not as much. Most people will be using golden artifacts to basically hope for legendaries or be fusing these into... Um, where are we looking here? There we go. Fusing them into opulent jewels. And so this is probably going to be the main way that they're being used. And you can't really take advantage of it as much as you could. Before it was kind of max your inventory and then sell through them at 200k a piece. Uh, but that's not really as viable anymore. The other thing to keep in mind around uh, certain events is what is that event going to do to the market? And how can I take advantage of that? So for Lost City, for example, it's a quest based event. So what does that mean? All of the the heroes are going to be going to this event, which means that heroes aren't going to be going out to get components, which means that most likely there's going to be less supply for normal components. So you can assume that components prices will go up slightly. And so at least uh, before Lost City of Gold comes around, making sure that you have a lot of components that you need in your inventory inventory so you're not needing to pay extra later on or even trying to sell during Lost City if prices are going up to be making a little bit of extra money. Also keep in mind that gear is going to be slightly more expensive. We know that people are going to be wanting to gear their heroes a lot more when it comes to uh, bigger events whether it be King's Caprice or Lost City or something like that and so um, trying to sell the more valuable gear or knowing that potentially component or um, enchantment prices are going to be going up things like that so just keeping that in mind going into events that you're kind of prepared uh, you've got some things stocked up and you kind of know what what the market might be doing so that you can take advantage uh, tomorrow we'll talk about King's Caprice and the things that you need to be doing to prepare for that, to take advantage of it, and how to make a ton of extra money. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, hope you're all doing well. It was nice to catch up, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys on stream this week as well. So anyway, have a good one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and we will talk to you soon. Later.